it's amazing. I, I can't really remember saying, well, I want to be a priest or anything. Uh, but uh, at St. Peter's uh, College, I remember the old Albert Subburn, you know, and he asked me if I, you know, I was thinking of being a priest, and well, no. And uh, I said, well, if I was going to be a priest, I'd like to be a priest in the country. And the abbot said, well, I'm meeting with the bishops, uh, you know, next week, and I'll talk to, you know, the, the bishop of Regina, because there's lots of country parishes in Regina. <laughs> I was in it before I realized it. The thing is, is that where can you get a job where you go around giving good news all the time? You know, gee when people need good news. And uh, to be able to do that, you know, as, as your life work, is fantastic. And, and there's so many good people in the world and lots of people that need to be you know, filled with joy. And so, you know, the gospel is good news. How wonderful it is to have faith. You know, and, and it, it's, it's a gift. And uh, I didn't deserve it or anything else, but marvelous. Now, God spoiled me all my life. And it's still good. <laughs> And interestingly, you know, like you more than me, you, I, I got in at the end of the 30s, the depression, the drought and all of that, you lived through all of that. And, uh, you know, we families had absolutely nothing, but their human dignity was not taken from them. People are good. It's just amazing how many good people there are in the world. I remember my mother saying, what we need is a good depression again because you know, during that time, people took and took care of them, each other. You know, and uh, it was amazing. I remember going over to the neighbors, you know, to get a cup of sugar. You know, <laughs> and it was, people shared, and, and uh, you know, they were very, we're all in it together, and so we help each other. And it's interesting that uh, Christ remained with us in the form of bread and wine. You know, a meal, and uh, I remember when I was a little kid, you know, I went to church and you couldn't even look at your neighbor, you know, and, and really a meal is where we not only, you know, become one with the food we eat, but with each other, how important it is to be one heart. I think that expression, many people, one heart, is simply another way of talking about the church. That's what it means to be the church. We have one heart, which is the spirit of Christ that's in each one of us. It makes us one. We're many, but we're gathered together in him. And we're called to, to act like that. And I think uh, this is what the church is trying to have us do. And I see the appeal very much carrying out that kind of thing. Many, many people, one heart, the heart of Christ, which is there for others. Individually, we can't do an awful lot. We can do some things, you know, on a small level. But together, we can do amazing things. You know? And that's what I think the, the bishop's appeal enables, you know, the, the, the church as a diocese, as a people, to do wonderful things, which we could not do individually, but we can do together. <laughs>